We are a, an unnamed seamount. Unnamed in the Western Mariana Ridge. An unexplored seamount. Unexplored. Just, uh... Well, it's cool because you have like almost both extremes. So not only do you have this really high coral diversity, but then you have like the deepest depths mm -hmm. in like all the ocean. It's, it's all in like one given space. Yeah. It's, it's kind of the same story with the arc and the back arc and the species at the hydrothermal yeah, vents, which... where you, you get everything. Thank you for joining us. All the courts are right I'm sure. Ooh, oh, our oh, friends my... back again. Oh my gosh. Absolutely beautiful. Ooh, wow, it's just so massive. I wonder how old this one is, or like how big this one is. It. I mean, it looked but close in size to the sharks. Or yeah. yeah. Oh, someone's calling it a sea pancake. <laughs> That's cute. Beautiful. Oh, look at those sparkles. Ooh, ooh. Nice, Ben. Oh, that's so beautiful. Wow, Ben. Yeah. That's so smooth. Hello. This is amazing flying, Ben. And mm -hmm. Sarah. Thank you, guys. Yeah. yeah. And Aaron yeah. working the cams. Yeah. It's truly a team. That's a different yeah. How was, like, you know, working with that sort of focus? Yeah, look at it compared with the sharks. Yeah. It's... Yeah. Like, how can you tell when the subject is in focus, Erin? Uh, like, amidst all of this abundance? Uh, <laughs> it's a mixture of eyes and also peeking on a monitor above, too. So if there's things like corals where, you know, it kind of looks a bit soft, I can double check in the peeking. But I don't spend a ton of time on it when I'm doing, like, this kind of stuff. Well, you're doing amazing. Thank, Thank you, you, all of you. Is it eating something? Oh, it might, yeah, it looks like it is. Rays have like grinding teeth. They haven't got teeth like sharks do because they use them to grind up the crustaceans and stuff they eat in the right. sediment. That's Same cool. Anyways, we have to go. I just wanted to say um, thank you and uh, great job to all of you who were on our four to eight watch. Thank you to all of our viewers who have joined us on this beautiful night here in the Pacific. Right. It's been a wonderful experience. I hope that you enjoy the rest of this amazing dive. <laughs> We can't. Atlanta is at her upper limit right now. Yeah. Um, All of this plate coral is what I'm used to diving with. Yeah. But Could be a Montipora species. I'd need to see the polyps. Oh, so much color, so much life. That's stunning. And so you can see underneath these sheets, there's like a pretty big gap, right? That kind of shelf. And that goes back to what Sierra and I were talking about in terms of light availability. So these sheets are growing out further, further, trying to away. access more light and not a lot that is photosynthetic is able to grow underneath. And so it does create this really fantastic habitat for all of these fish. Oh my gosh, this is insane. Is that another anemone oh we just passed? Look at in the background. Wow. It's it's like look at fish this highway. Fish city, yeah. We, it's like the channel they're all taking. They're all going to work. Or something. <laughs> this is how Finding Nemo was developed. Yeah, honestly. Just bring it down to 15. Wow. Wow. Oh, I am in awe. Going. I have goosebumps. Yeah, it's not yeah. just because the aircon's on. It's okay. like everywhere you look, his life. This is oh, what a healthy coral ecosystem should look cool. like. Yeah. Wow. wow. And what we're seeing at this depth, yes, they are corals that we would also see in shallower waters, but because we're still fairly deep, we're able to get that cooler water. Oh, right. From 2014 to 2017, the Marianas experienced very significant bleaching events due to sea surface temperature anomalies, warmer than usual water. Saipan alone lost over 90% of our branching oh, wow. crop reds. And so at the shallower zones of the photic area, you're going to get reefs that would have looked like this if we weren't experiencing these types of anomalies. Now, of course, wave action, typhoons, and things like that also play into it, but a lot of it is water temperature dependent. Right. Well, we're at 28 degrees Celsius, which is about the normal surface temperature of water in Guam. Really? Yeah. We're usually 27, 28. I love these shots here. You can just see them all in the distance. Yeah, Ooh, look what's at that, that It's the spotty one. On the left? I don't know, he's the best the body one. Right here. Whoa. Oh, who are you? <laughs> Let me find out. Far away. Some circles, yeah. yeah. He's keeping a distance. I'm just blown away. I have never seen so much life in like one, one photo, like one screen. Yeah. <laughs> 
you know, I was saying earlier, we have over 376 uh, types tail. of coral in the Marianas. Now that have the most coral diversity in the United States. Wow. So I'm just impressed at how much this reminds me of a lot of the scuba diving I do in the Marianas. Oh, there's a huge there's puffer a fish, fish to the right. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yes. oh, cool. Oh, I think yeah. that's one of our black spotted puffer fish. Oh, oh the there's milkman. two of them. Oh, these are guys are having a face off. The anticipation is building <laughs> in this moment. I'm going to find the first snack. I'm going to find the first snack. <laughs> <laughs> so cute. I, I love, love their little speckle pattern. Yeah, I love the yeah. way they move their fins as well. Yeah. They're trying to look tough to each other. Oh, just a second. Eva, you were asking if I think maybe we had something. Oh, do you get squirrel fish? We do. I like them. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, have oh, friends. There's three. Wow. Four. Four. Oh. Maybe they're friends. Just a lovely swim through the reef together. Hmm. It's a Friday night. Yeah. <laughs> so we are currently diving on a sort of like shallower uh, sea mount here. We've seen a lot of like... Oh, that's a parrotfish. Oh it's my beautiful. gosh. Yep, that's a parrotfish. It's starting to make his God. little oh, mucus bubble. What do you mean mu mucus awesome. bubble? Oh, it's their little sleeping bag. Right. Every night they make a little mucus bubble to sleep in. Really? Yep. To for protection? So they're essentially protective sleeping bags to shield themselves from parasites and potentially predators while they sleep. Hmm. It also may serve the purpose to mask their smell from nighttime predators. Oh, so he's going to bed for the night. Amazing. Let's see with those colors. Okay, so that's definitely an adult, probably a super male. So they have three super different- Super male. Yeah, they have three different life forms. And the super males are when they are their largest and their final color form. Mm -hmm. I'm well, guessing based on this coloration, it looks like a Scarus sedacus or a pale nose parrotfish. This is really fantastic to see. Parrotfish are a really important component of the reef. They are corallivorous, so they actually scrape the algae off of the coral. You can actually see some of the little bite marks up above in the coral. But we haven't seen many of them. We haven't seen many of them. Yeah, in Chamorro, um, I've heard them be called uh, Palaxi or Lagua. 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 Yeah. Yeah. So. And those two names, one is indicative of size, but I can't remember which one's the larger one. I think Palaxi are the larger mm -hmm. um, and Lagua are the smaller, but we'll need to fact check me on that one. These are Ooh, sorry. just very like, beautiful. Like 25? Um, fish. Yeah. And just very beloved within um, mm -hmm. the, the culture of the Marianas here. I think like it's so also so fascinating that in the Chamorro okay, language there are different yeah. names for different sizes and life stages of certain mm -hmm. fish. That is a sizable parrotfish. Yeah. How how big was it? Um, 30, 25, 25, 30, 30 centimeters. Yeah. Oh wow! Amazing. Well, what is this? This very long friend. Trumpet fish, right? Mm -hmm. A trumpet fish. What do they eat? Like, how do they live? Like, they're very long. They are very long. They have that elongated snout. I believe they are carnivorous. So they're eating other smaller invertebrates. They just kind of poke them mm. and then they eat them up. Uh, I don't think that they are poking them. I think that they probably are chomping them. Oh, mm -hmm. chomping. Chomp, maybe a little chomp, maybe a little swallow. They look like a little tiny dragon, like with all the fins that are along its body. Trumpet fish, I believe, uh, with their elongated body, they can kind of curl up and then like snap, which lets them speed up really quickly. Uh, and they can kind of lurch at something and see it's little catch it by surprise. Footage right now. <laughs> so good. Lovely. Yeah, I like the colors. Oh, wow. Stripes. Profile picture. Oh, amazing. Your little fins. Oh, the focus and the flying. Brilliant. Thank you so much. Look at the, those eyes. Mm -hmm. Just constantly switching about. Yeah. Maintaining the alertness. <laughs> that, that, was, <laughs> that was beautiful. Yeah, I think that awesome. was my favorite shot of the shift. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was great. Oh, oh, It's a yeah. lionfish or? No. no. Oh, it's a crinoid. Is oh, it, can, I, can I zoom in? It's a feather star, yeah. I think. 
Or is it a shrimp? Or is it? No. Who are you? No. What are you? Oh. Who are you? I think you're right. I think it's a crinoid. Crinoid, yeah. yeah. Boy. They move? Yeah. Yeah, so the one that, that we Whoa. saw these in the deep sea, these are camatulid crinoids, so they're not stalked. Yeah. And we saw them like attached to sponges and stuff, but these ones in shallow water you get, you tend to see swim around. So there it's oh, there's little, oh my like, goodness, they move. That is so cool. He, he, like, He's did really a skydive. Really I've not yeah. seen one move like this. Yeah. So. Oh. I assume he's just looking for a better perch. On yeah, which maybe. To filter feed or yeah. something. It's wild to God, see. I've not move. seen one walk along the ground. Like, I mean, I'm sure they do. I just so I've never seen it. Yeah, yeah usually they they get to a spot they like and they just and they just hold on. Hold on, yeah. I didn't wow. know that they were so fast. I didn't either. And that's that's it. That's the kind of them bingo finished. Wow. wow. Yeah, you were saying you were looking for a crime. Yeah. <laughs> so review the uh, bingo card. So you've got starfish, yep. brittle stars. I think we saw one of them. I'm not 100% on that. You've got crinoids, you've got urchins, and you've got sea cucumbers. Got them all. And they're all echinoderms, meaning spiny skin. They're so cool. Okay. No, oh, that, that was really cool. Look at it climbing along. It, almost, it is I mean, going. It's, I, want, I wonder if it's Brianna on a, it's on a saw mission. this and thought it might be a sea spider. <laughs> on an it adventure. It kind of looks yeah. like it's a little bit. You had that down pat from quite far away. It's Look the the legs. pinules, yeah. the way it, its arms are so spiny. Yeah, I wonder yeah. if that, that coral stingy it. It's like, ow, ow, <laughs> <laughs> ouch. <laughs> I wonder. There might be more eels, kind of where that, there's a group of uh, the fusilers that are kind of hanging oh, out at the bottom. Here. Yeah. yeah. But, oh, there's an eel there. Yeah, go yeah. for it. Oh, hello. Oh, yeah, there he is. Oh, oh, what is that on it? Is that a cleaning shrimp? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So this is, this is a pretty oh, traditional two, cleaning look. station. We've there's got shrimp. There's one on his nose oh. and one on below him. There Just are. a little spa day mm -hmm. for our eel friend. Look at that. He's got one on his head. That's so Yeah. Funny. Little self care cave. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh my oh, goodness. Oh. oh. <laughs> You're doing amazing. I think the one that just hopped off might have been a peppermint shrimp. A peppermint Ooh. shrimp? That's so <laughs> cute. Oh my goodness. I can't take it. That is very cute. Yeah, oh Eva. Goodness. So there's two yeah. little shrimp That's, as well. Is, is that right another right eel? <laughs> Eva, it's a spa day for wow. our eel friend. You, you missed the peppermint shrimp. Yeah, peppermint it was. Shrimp? Oh, my good shrimp. They're minty fresh. It's <laughs> yeah, yeah, they are minty fresh. <laughs> there was oh, wait. Of the genus. Oh, wait, look at that smile. Uh, yeah. Having a great Yeah, time. I think that's him. There was one below. There was oh, one on, riding on top of his Pink head. Pink and orange are so pretty. Aren't yeah. They? And I believe that these are those oh, fuselars. Wow, I like to think that all these fish are just like complimenting the eel. You're so fresh after this. <laughs> oh, you feel so exfoliated. You're gonna be so amazing. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you're gonna have a great time. I wanna go there. Maybe you should do a voiceover of this event. Yeah. And the more he's just like, really? Oh my gosh, thank you. This was so good. <laughs> What's our depth right now? Uh, 75 meters. Cool. 